Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today's video, we're gonna be looking at the patch notes that are up on the test server and running through these and showing you exactly that we are getting, of course, some more copies of Hildwin, so very cool to see. So added the Gloria Spectacular event, which will be available during uh, 531. So coming in a few days, during the event, adventures can complete quests to get golden keys for free. That is right, free to play is gonna love it and open the celebratory chest to randomly rewards from different tiers. Additionally, you stand a chance to get an Awakened Hero Choice Chest. Don't know what iteration of heroes this is gonna be, if it's gonna be the first generation, second or third, or if it's just gonna let you get a hero yourself, or if it's gonna give us this, because it says you have a standard chance to get a Hero Choice Chest, which makes me think probability of getting it is pretty low to get a hero. Now, the Isle of Gold event will be back. That is right, it is coming back. I feel like we just finished the Isle of Gold not too long ago, and overall, we farmed a lot of resources in there because of course it was, I believe, again, it was what, about a month ago for the fifth anniversary, but this is starting on June 6th. You can build your own island to harvest abundant resources or pillage other islands. Now, of course, a lot of players do kind of a combination of between these two. I have always found that I like really harvesting and hoarding made a big difference and it doesn't look like there's any changes to the Isle of Gold as it sits today. So looking at the second phase of Dragon's Gift will be available again, 6-9. Participating in the Isle of Gold event, roll the dice a certain amount of times, and you're getting another copy of the Highborn Dragon Hildwin. That is right, you're getting another copy for free. That already gives us two, which may, stands to reckon with this being the second phase of the Dragon's Gift, we have done the first one, which we know was um, tied to the Heroes of Espria. Second one is gonna be to the Isle of Gold, which means there is gonna be a phase three and a phase four. That is originally what they said was there were going to be four phases. So it does seem that with all four phases, we are getting four co copies of Hildwin, which means that we are gonna be able to get him ascended plus a copy on the YouTube account when all this is live and everything is going on. Style Extravaganza, now this is something I believe we've done before, limited time return of popular skins. Now of course, these skins you have to purchase, so free to play, unfortunately, you're gonna be completely left out on this one, but as you can see, um, during the event, Avengers who purchase a specific skin will also receive the hero with the skin. So pretty cool, so if you look right here, the Frost Fairy, we have Lucila and the Radiant Blessing Liberta. So those are gonna be, and it says a bundle here, so I'm assuming if you buy that bundle, you're gonna get a copy of Liberta, you're gonna get a copy of Lucila, and you're gonna receive both of those skins. Question is, for the players that already got one of those, I'm not sure if that's gonna make a big difference. Now, Lost Dreams, Rosaline, the Glacial Child, uh, Damon, which of course is the teddy bear, and then Polar Predator, Mishka. So again, if you didn't get any of those limited edition skins, you're gonna have the ability to actually pick those up. Now, this is something that we talked about in the, um, in the live stream that we did on Sunday, optimize the auto battle, lowering it from 3560 to 2060. Guys, that is a 15 chapter reduction. This is going to be <laughs> entirely broken. Now, ventures can en enable or disable this function in the setting. And the reason why I'm saying this is gonna be incredibly broken is because early game, so we have had players that have got into AFK Arena, got Hildwin, make some progression in a day, maybe even two, push 20 plus chapters. So now with auto battle feature, you can literally just let it run, meaning you're gonna truck and really train wreck through a ton of progression because you're not gonna be in having to sit here and manually do the function again. It's just gonna auto battle and you'll be able to kill and crush a lot of AFK Arena very, very easy, which I know the campaign, early game the campaign is the game changer because that is the point that you get to unlock everything that AFK Arena has to offer. This is huge when it comes to players. I know a lot of players, um, again, even in live stream, we're kind of talking about how incredibly difficult it is because you have to wait till 3560. So this is a big shout out for you guys. Add a new strategy for some heroes, which can be viewed through the tip portal. This is okay. I, I can see maybe um, very new players to AFK Arena using some of the new strategies. Overall, I don't find it super effective. The town you've known for years have been completely revamped. Adventures can explore the newly updated town, enjoy a more comfortable environment, and take in the bustling scenery. Not exactly sure what that is. I, I think it's gonna be, um, when you look at Ranhorn, it's gonna get probably a, an entire facelift, which is gonna be interesting. Updated the art um, style of certain in-game interfaces. Then of course, the King's Tower 
is getting a little bit more difficulty, some adding some more floors in there, and also reducing some of the difficulties that we have in there. So again, gonna be a little bit of an update in there. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything about a dimensional tower or a draconic tower at this point. Hopefully one day, once upon a time, we know that we're getting um, Rimuru and we're also getting a secondary hero that is going to be coming. You notice they're not in the patch notes. Now, of course, with dimensional heroes, most of the time they just release the dimensional um, that is available for the exchange. Sometimes we see the patch notes, but that almost makes me think because the timeline for these patch notes and the hero being out are not gonna line up essentially together. So it's gonna be interesting. So we could see the release of our two heroes that are coming, our two dimensional heroes that are coming in conjunction with patch notes 1.44, which should include from the dev notes, the 2.5% probability increase for both the Stargazer and also for the Temple of Time. Again, we're gonna have to see because it doesn't seem like it's in this patch, maybe not yet but we're gonna have to see the next patch. It should be dropped in there. And of course, the King's Tower, unfortunately, nothing that we see in there. So enrollment for the Mystic Star Zone will open. This, of course, is gonna be the second of the three iterations. And of course, we still have not seen our chests out of there yet. As much as I would like to get that awakened chest, we are still zero for forever, meaning we have never gotten one ever through that entire thing. Now, interesting right here. Now, with our brand new Mauler, they're fixed in issue. Certain circumstances, the Violent Venom um, skill health loss affected was not being calculated in a timely manner. Don't think that's a buff, but I don't think it's much of an adjustment because these are extreme circumstances which are outside of kind of the regular control or kind of like a, a niche issue that we had. Then, of course, the update will only affect the test server final on the live server. We'll determine when the official updated update is launched. Now, of course, some of the things that are missing, one, the probability increase that we are kind of looking for. Um, of course, the dimensional tower, then the last one that we're not seeing within here, unfortunately, is having the ability to um, actually go through here and add some more to the field of stars. We're still waiting to see some more of the build out. We're still see waiting to see some more of the field of stars to actually be updated. But again, we have events on events, kind of on events, covered over, of course, the regular events. So when we start looking in here with, within the patch notes and you look at the events tab, there's a ton in here as well that is coming. Again, Circus Tour, Magician's Hat, we have the um, gift card, Treasure Scramble, then with the patch, we do have the Misty Valley, we have the Temple Rift, we have so much going on within AFK Arena that is gonna yield us some resources. But all right guys, so that is gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and as always, thank you guys for watching.